contained backstage and dressing room footage. These are the last moments recorded of his life. Six weeks after these recorded concerts, Elvis Presley died. The end is near, so I fade. It has been almost 50 years since the renowned rock and roll singer and actor Elvis Presley passed away from heart failure. His passing on August 16, 1977 shocked the music world and left countless followers in shock around the world. A tiny number of skeptics began to believe that Elvis might not have actually passed away in the days following his funeral. The 42-year-old celebrity was declared legally dead by doctors and a coroner, but skeptics insisted that Elvis Presley had staged his own demise in order to disappear. Fans in North America have claimed to have seen Presley out and about for the past 40-plus years. The Elvis Sighting Society was founded in 1989 by three purported Elvis fans to keep track of these alleged occurrences. Some claim he even made an appearance as an extra in the hit movie Home Alone 1990. Presley is hardly the only well-known person that our mainstream culture has had trouble moving on from. As admirers insist their beloved celebrities must still be alive, conspiracy theories have emerged following previous high-profile deaths, including James Dean, a Hollywood actor who died in a vehicle accident in 1955, and Michael Jackson, who died from a prescription drug overdose in 2009. Here's why so many people think Elvis Presley is still alive today. Some believe Elvis was connected to the Mafia. One of the most popular theories for why Presley may have faked his own death is that he had no choice but to do so in order to flee the Mafia. In a recent interview with Time, Gail Brewer Giorgio, the author of the 1988 bestseller Is Elvis Alive? Author, and then you don't put their books back in the store. Remembered how she combed through countless FBI files before concluding that Presley was an American hero who had to enter witness protection. Do I know if Elvis is alive today? No, I don't know, she said. But I know he didn't die on August 16. Presley was employed by the FBI as an undercover agent in 1976, according to Brewer Giorgio, to help the organization infiltrate a criminal group named The Fraternity, which was reportedly composed of numerous racketeers. Brewer Giorgio claims that Presley's love of America and respect for the FBI motivated him to volunteer. According to the author, Presley was contacted by the agency because a member of the fraternity had allegedly transacted business with the singer over the sale of an airplane he owned. However, Presley was put into the witness protection program after it was discovered that he was a mole, according to Brewer Giorgio, who cited what she claimed to be evidence from FBI papers and interviews. Elvis faked his death because he was going to be killed, and there was no doubt about it, she said. The FBI did not immediately respond to a question regarding the historical claim that Brewer Giorgio in-depth details in her book. In the more than 760 documents the FBI has made public that deal with the singer between 1956 and 1980, there is no mention of Presley helping the agency. Presley was the subject of multiple extortion attempts that the FBI looked into, though they never conducted an investigation into him. Nevertheless, a folder was made in his name. The publicly available documents describe the extortion instances and demonstrate Presley's respect for the FBI. According to an FBI note, Presley spoke positively of the agency and offered his help in any way during a tour of the FBI's headquarters in 1971. Presley's airplane is also mentioned, along with a commercial deal involving it. Elvis specialists said there is no evidence in the court that Presley is still alive. The public can access such FBI files. I have them. There's nothing in there, claimed Patrick Lacey, an expert on Elvis Presley and the author of Elvis Decoded, a book that disproves popular ideas about how he died. The medical data and the eyewitness account, according to Lacey, all point to a death. The quiet and assistance of literally hundreds of individuals over the years would have been necessary for him to stage his death. Others point to Elvis' tombstone as evidence. Along with reported sightings, debunkers contend that media appearances in which Presley's family aired and an apparent name-spelling error on the King's tombstone are further evidence of a cover-up. 
According to the doubters, Presley's middle name was intentionally misspelled on his tombstone because using his genuine name while he was still alive would have been considered improper. According to debunkers, the king later began using the spelling Aaron instead of Aaron for his middle name. Presley's wife Priscilla addressed how Presley spoiled their daughter. You know, cracked Elvis up and, um, and he says, will you stand up? So, I mean, he wasn't really into to Halloween and he was gone. Lisa Marie, in an interview with Oprah in 2005 on the TV host show, it's exactly what he said the other day, according to skeptics, before Priscilla corrected herself and addressed Oprah with you said. They claim that Lisa Marie dodged Larry King's inquiry about whether she ever experiences communication with her father in a 2003 interview. Through my writing and my music, and I, I'm not someone who just wants attention, or not, not that he was, but you know, nowadays people are doing everything. And I, I... The impact of the Elvis conspiracy theories. According to Lacey, who describes himself as a huge Elvis fan, the conspiracy theories cause unneeded suffering to Presley's family. I didn't just start doing this because there was nothing else to do, he said. I think those who claim that Elvis is still alive are doing him and his family a big disservice, he stated. Imagine having to tell people your entire life that your father committed all of these wrongdoings and deceived his followers. Many individuals were saddened by Elvis Presley's death. It continues to. What sort of person would Elvis be to treat his followers that way, you have to wonder. The vast majority of Americans think Presley actually passed away in 1977. Only 4% of Americans asked in a 1997 Gallup poll believed Presley was still alive, while 93% were positive he had passed away. Brewer Giorgio isn't backing down from her position, though. The Georgia woman believes her conclusions are based on facts, not feelings, and claims she doesn't own a single Elvis album or piece of memorabilia. Memphis police officially closed the files on the death of Elvis Presley before it was even medically or scientifically. I am aware of what he truly done, she declared. The world has to be aware that Elvis Presley risked his life. She continued, I believe it's unfortunate that we don't know the whole Elvis. Nobody else is going to do this for Elvis if I don't. That was all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Do you think Elvis Presley is still alive today? Let us know in the comment section below. You have made it till the end of the video. Thanks for watching. When I was in, uh, I was in France about three or four years ago, and I was, was doing a film on Jean-Claude Keeley. And I asked him just offhand who was his favorite singer. And he said, oh, he says, Elvis Presley. Before I left, I was seeing her, and she was at the train, at the airport when I left. And uh, there were some pictures made of her. <laughs> but it was.